Hey everyone, Dulce here, and you're watching Candy's Garden. And if you haven't noticed, I've got bugs! Alright y'all, so today is December the 11th, and I was taking a look at all my plants to make sure everybody was good. And yep. My apricot tree has found herself some friends. She's got bugs. So what I'm going to do for her is spray her down for three consecutive nights with this homemade oil pesticide and see if that can rid her of her little friends. So wish me luck and I will update you on her fourth day. Alright, so I am here with my little bitty apricot tree and as you can see, she still has bugs. Now, I used a homemade uh, pesticide. And um, I only did it for a couple of nights because of the fact that it started getting kind of cold. Of course, it's December and, you know, it gets kind of chilly. But not only was this one infected... But this leaf back here, as you can see, it's all shriveled up. So, this one, if you unravel it, you can see bugs in there as well. But it's not as bad as it used to be. So, I used a different kind of um, oil and soap uh, homemade pesticide. And this time, I'm going to spray her with this other type of that I've recently made and hopefully it'll get rid of the bugs for good. This I, I am going to stick to the three night rule and then hopefully by the fourth day uh, I can update y'all on this and hopefully it works. And if so, I will tell you what kind of oils I use for the homemade pesticide spray so here is the bugs right now and hopefully you will not see any in four days wish me luck alright so today is December the 31st happy New Year's Eve of course this will be uploaded in about two weeks but I wanted to give you an update on this girl of course, I did my last update on the 27th, so I told you I would do three consecutive nights of doing my homemade pesticide spray. And as you can see, there's a whole bunch of black. Let me try to focus. A whole bunch of black, but no green, no living on this leaf. And let's take a look at this leaf over here. This one was the bad one. This had all the living and nastiness. But what you can see on this one is just a whole bunch of black and yucky. But no green, no healthy living bugs. Which gets me so excited that this pesticide spray that I created actually works. But thank you all so very much for watching this and stay tuned to see what exactly I use for this homemade pesticide spray. Alright, so I am back and I've got my homemade pesticide spray as well as my oil concoction that I've used for it. It's just a regular spray bottle and I usually fill this up as much as I can and then add my concoction to this spray bottle but I don't know the lighting is kind of weird out here so I'll probably take a picture of this bottle and then just if I can right put it right here like a picture of what it really looks like and I usually shake this up every now and then and this is what it looks like so right here I've got a listed what I've put all in this bottle right there and I will put pictures right here of course showing you what I've used in this bottle I have a half a cup of hemp oil half a cup of corn oil half of uh, fresh lime 
and one whole garlic clove. And for the pesticide, I will mix one teaspoon of this oil with one teaspoon dish soap, and I use the generic brand um, from the Dollar Tree, into the spray bottle and spray for three consecutive nights. And yeah, that is about all that I use. And you know what also this is good for? Since it's only oil, lime, and garlic, the good thing about this is if I need a cuticle oil, this is perfect for your nails. So, you know, that might sound a little weird, but it's not only good for your plants, but your nails as well. All right, y'all. I greatly appreciate you coming to check out this video. Thank you so much for watching. Love God because he loves you. And y'all have a nice day now. Y'all here? Bye.